So in this session, we're going to be looking at comparing the casing content of mammalian milk and specifically in this protocol, just looking at cow's milk. Now, the protocol involves four main steps. We have to precipitate casein from the milk, centrifuge it to take it down into the pellet and then wash and dry the pellet so we can get the dry mass of the protein. But we're going to use a, a Pasco pH sensor as part of that isoelectric point part of the protocol. So we're going to start by calibrating that sensor between pH 4 and pH 7 using prepared buffers. And this allows us to work around the isoelectric point of about 4.6 as determined by bioinformatics. So here we've got a beaker of one of the pH buffers and we're just holding it in the sensor and monitoring that on a device using the Pasco Spark View app. And then each time it reaches that pH calibration point, we're rinsing the probe. So to precipitate the casein, we're going to start with 20 cubic centimetres of milk in a beaker. And to that, we are going to add a magnetic flea. And we're going to allow continuous stirring on a magnetic stirrer. And the milk should be at around 40 degrees Celsius when we're doing this. So to precipitate it, we're going to monitor the pH all the time whilst stirring using the Pasco probe. And we're going to add dropwise ethanoic acid until we get to about pH 4.6. And we will start to see that clumping, the casein protein coming out of the milk suspension. And you should be able to see it visibly on, in your beaker. And we know it's casein because bioinformatics tells us that should happen around about pH 4.6. So now we've got to get that protein out of the milk suspension and we do that by centrifugation. So you're now going to split that suspension of milk between two centrifuge tubes, put them into centrifuge rotor balanced and then we're going to spin that for five minutes at, at 6,000 RPM until we see this pellet of casein. You're now going to remove the supernatant. That contains lots of molecules that we don't need. We want that pellet at the bottom. But the pellet will also contain fat molecules that have adhered to that casein protein. So we now need to move on to the fourth stage. Weigh as much of that fat as you can. So you can try and break up the pellet and give it lots and lots of rinsings. So you're trying to remove as much of the fat so we're not actually taking the mass of those fat molecules. And now we are going to continue washing, but also drying at the same time. So this is going to involve using a Buchner funnel and a filtration tubing system with a conical flask with a one arm so that you can connect that to your, um, your, your filtration through the, the tap. So this should be your setup here and you're going to take a piece of filter paper and you need to record the mass of the dried filter paper. Then you're going to put in your pellet, lots and lots of washings with the ethyl ether and ethanol mix until you're happy that that pellet's been washed. You're then going to dry that in, the, in an incubator at 40 degrees overnight and then you're going to record the mass of that pellet on the filter paper, removing the mass of the filter paper. And you can see example results here.